Hello everyone, welcome to All Things Money. Today we have one of the more firebrand finance tax professionals in the country, Shabar Bhai. How are you doing, sir? Uh, thank you. You're going well. Chalein, Shabar Bhai, let's start. I mean, you have tremendous experience with tax and everything related to tax in Pakistan. You've seen the tax code evolve in the country. Broad question, a tax to GDP has never really exceeded maybe even 10-11% over the last many years. How do we increase it to let's say 15% or 20%? Uh, the, the, my answer is uh, that the matter has not been understood properly. Okay. The tax to GDP ratio for the, those people who are actually taxed in a proper manner is now in Pakistan is more than 30 percent. And the, the, the total GDP tax to GDP is 9 percent. And let me give you a simple, simple uh, answer to this. In, in our economy, the, there are, if you divide the economy into four parts, there, there are, they are the equal part, 25% each in the total economic GDP of the country. 25% is contributed by agriculture, 25% is contributed by ma manufacturing, 25% mm -hmm. is contributed by services, uh, and 25% is contributed by retail and wholesale trade and things like that. Okay, real estate. The agriculture and real estate are effectively contributing less than 1% of the their GDP for tax. So if you take out 99, then it becomes 18 in any way. Okay, this, so, hmm. this, so this is the, in Pakistan, the tax to GDP ratio has been wrongly calculated because we have decided that we should not tax uh, these two sectors by default or whatever it is. And their tax contribution to the tax GDP ratio is not uh, in accordance with their contribution to the economy. So it is a very wrong perception that we should have a tax GDP ratio of 13 unless we take all the people along. So even if you take uh, the, the uh, people along, then agriculture will remain this thing like that. The second reason is that in wherever you exceed tax GDP ratio from 13 or 12, then there is a very, very significant contribution by the provincial government and the local bodies. In our country, the contribution by the provincial government and the local bodies is almost negligible. So, well, just for example, the property tax in the city of Bombay, I think is more than the whole property tax of Pakistan. That's right. Even more than that. Yes. So, uh, this is a very simple game. I am not, I am not concerned about this low tax. I don't call it low tax mm -hmm. ratio. I don't call it like this. I call it a reality. It's a fact of the case. So, we are essentially completely excluding large segments of the economy yes. and overtaxing some segments of the yes, economy. Yes, heavily overtaxing. Heavily. Heavily. And we are, by virtue, by virtue of that, we are actually contracting the economy and make, making those sectors practically non-viable in the economic sense. For example, manufacturing is not a viable sector in Pakistan. Manufacturing is a, is a useless game in Pakistan. If you do manufacturing, then it means you, for tax, from the tax point of view, you cannot compete. You, you cannot compete. No, for example, I think that. one good example here is that of the recently imposed GST on milk, on packaged milk. So if you set up a no, milk a, plant or anything no like that, no, you okay. cannot compete with no loose milk no, because 18% no no. add-on tax, you no simply case. cannot no, no compete case, anymore. No case, no case. You, you start making shoes for the children, you, you, for the school-going children. The, the Chinese product, which are actually subject to tax in China at less than 10 percent. And you are asking me to pay, pay tax of 40 percent. So that's not possible. So the, this is the gravest error in Pakistan which is made. So they, they, this, when, when I hear this concept of tax to GDP ratio or then I start laughing. So Bosik, what you are saying is we have incentivized more trading and we have discouraged manufacturing because this is what's really happening. So we're becoming a trading economy rather than anything else. We just create things. We were always actually, if you look at from 47 to 2024, we were tilted towards uh, towards uh, manufacturing uh, trading. But after Nawaz Sharif came into power, they were actually anti-business, anti, anti sorry, anti manufacturing, anti manufacturing. Anti -manufacturing. So after 90s, after 90s, the Pakistan is finished economically. 
if you look at the pakistan any data of pakistan of 2000 any data of pakistan of 2000 and uh, compare with data of with india the rupee of india was i believe 46 rupees per dollar and pakistan was 56 rupees a dollar to in 2000 yeah okay now they are less than 100 we are 280 why it is only a period of, two, of 20 years only the period of 20 years this country has been raped in the last 20 years. So basically, we stopped producing and just started trading. We keep importing and start trading stuff. No, no we don't want it. We don't want manufacturing. Hmm. It is the Western interest of the people to import, uh, to indulge in, 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 by cautiously, unconsciously, intentionally, unintentionally. We are all in, we are just anti manufacturing. Okay, so essentially, and that's why we cannot so, sustain growth because we are mostly dependent on imports to trade and and we are totally reliant on imf and whether we like it or not like it the imf and the international bodies the the washington consensus they believe on the open trading and this is the this is the result so open trading works both ways right this also means more uh, openness for your goods as well yes so let's say okay, you you have an opportunity, clean slate, okay. hypothetical example, what needs to be done to move from a trading based economy to a manufacturing based economy? It's what would be the key interventions? It's too would? late. Uh, the, but when you if you want to move from the from the from the trading economy to the manufacturing economy, then you have to give not taxation incentive, but the non taxation incentive for the manufacturing. For example, you have to give them now, for example, one of the basic problem of the uh, manufacturing sector is the non-availability of industrial plots. In Pakistan, the industrial plots are treated like commercial plots. There are thousands of plots in Port Qasim which are which have been bought by the speculators. So, in, in Pakistan, there are non-tax uh, barriers for industrialization. You know, you don't, you can't find, you can't find plot in any reasonable place for industrialization. You can't find pro proper electrical connections. You can't find uh, proper road transport for the labor. So these are all the things which add to the anti-manufacturing bias. Yes. So le le let's start with the non-availability of industrial plots. Yes. I'm sure there are multiple interventions available. For example, if there is non-utilization, a very hefty fee can be imposed. And so that the, either they can start manufacturing on it or they can just sell it to someone else. What steps can... How many plots are at the moment empty in the, in the, in the Kapoor Kasim area? No idea. Huge. Hmm. Why? Because too expensive. So why is expensive? Why, why, why do you say okay, if you don't install industry in one year, you should, you should, you should, you should, you should scale your plot? So this is no, what I am saying. The, the problem is not that. It is the government policy like this. They are not, they, I would say the Pakistani people, Pakistani economists sitting in Islamabad, they don't understand Pakistan. Actually, they don't understand. When I, when I, when I look at their discourses, now I've started laughing at them, basically. They, whatever they are talking is, if you look at the, any discourse of the economics nowadays, hmm. the only discussion is IMF. Yeah. So I, I don't like to talk about IMF. Huh. The question is like that. Because I, I am more interested in the real, real time. Growth. Real world economy. And, you know, and, and if you, you, you are, we have a big industry in site, in Karachi, we have an industry in site, we have an industry in Korangi, we have an industry in this area. Can, can anybody civilize go into that area, the, the kind of the road, the kind of infrastructure, the kind of electricity connection, what is happening there? So, so what, what we are looking at it. So what is the, what, what, where is the government? Where is the where is the role of the government to make it the manufacturing state? Exactly. So basically, what you're saying is the infrastructure required for manufacturing simply doesn't exist because. For example, take work. the case of iron and steel industry. Hmm. We are closing a steel mill. Yes. Okay. People are installing steel mill. Take the simple case. That's one case steel mill. One case. Take the steel mill. For forty years, we have closed it. Hmm. Now we are saying we will close it forever. Yes. So now what we, what, what we are saying, what we are saying that we will import iron and steel. Hmm. So we have been importing scrap forever at this it's, point. Scrap is, huh. scrap is also iron and steel. Because of the scrap, but not the best quality. Again, you... No, 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 no. The question is no, no. Best quality will be imported. Hmm. 
Scrap is the second category. Scrap is the second category. So yes. you are saying that the first basic raw material for industry, iron and steel, you will not have it your own. You will do trading. So South Korea, when they said started industrializing, the first thing that they actually built, Kospi, was uh, a steel base. Yes. And uh, one of the main titles there or the slogans they were steel builds nations. Yes. Because without steel, you cannot industrialize. Yes. This myopic mindset should be closed. The myopic mindset should be closed. Yes. And what is that myopic mindset? That uh, this country is not suffering from a disaster, and we are we can correct it in in one year or two years. It's self inflicted. It's self inflicted. It's self inflicted. Self inflicted. Too ego, our ego is too high. Our ego is too high to accept that we can do anything wrong. Just give me you you are run, you also running a TV channel. How many times you have given any comparative chart of any matter with India? True. Why don't you give it? Why don't you program with me uh, next time comparative with India? Because you are afraid. It doesn't look good. You have ego. It doesn't look good, right? No, do look good. Okay, it doesn't look good. No, that's that's ego ego no you are egoistic. Yes. You are egoistic. You are a poor, egoistic, useless people. <laughs> you are a useless people. Poor, to, egoistic, useless people who doesn't want to see the truth. You don't want to see the truth across the border. Yep, that's true. The simple then what why why she should uh, I should talk about the 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 people who are not able who are not able to see what is happening across the border. Just give me one program on any media in Pakistan where they have come given any comparison with India on economic matter or anything. Hmm. Why? Why don't you do it? Are you afraid of army? Why do you don't don't do it? Do it with me tomorrow. I will do it with you, sir. No, I will do it with you tomorrow. I will do it with you, sir. How many times? What is the reason why they are prospering? Why we are not comparing? What is the reason? What is the position? What is the, what is happening in the economy there? Have we done ever? We should actually. Now that's a good that's point. A good point. Yeah, that's that's are, a good point, yes. You are ISPR. And all the media of Pakistan is ISPR. Yes. But I don't, don't expect it from dawn. But that's what I'm saying. Hmm. So we are talking useless thing. That this happened, this happened. This country is being transferred to a trading nation. Mm -hmm. the, you you know, if you ask someone, some Pakistani go on the road, and you know, ask him what is a good country, he will say Dubai. Hmm. Ordinary Pakistani country countrymen consider that Dubai is the ideal place to live yes. and ideal place to as economy. Am I right or wrong? That is hundred percent. Because right. that person has not seen the other world. Say what? That's true. Because we have closed the visas for India, so they, they don't know. They go to Saudi Arabia on Hajj and they see uh, Saudi Arabia and they see the UAE. Yeah, they see Dubai. That's all. They go to, don't go to Europe. So um, we all, our, only, our only model is Dubai. So this is what it is. So you basically more a real estate nation like Dubai now? Yes, real estate trading nation. Is it? No, just go out of the road and ask anyone on the road. Which is the ideal economy of the country? Let's say Dubai. Dubai. Why? Can Do we survive? Good the, infrastructure. Can we supply on the? Can we survive on the UAE model? No, we cannot. Then we cannot. We cannot. Has it, have you ever heard anything from any economist, any commentator of that Dubai model is not for us? It's not. It's definitely not. So then, have you heard anything about that from any any Pakistani? Uh, uh, correspondent, any journalist, that this is the bad model for us, because we are a nation which which is which has been deprived of the common sense. Simple as that. It's no, I'm not. I, I have no illusion about that. So th there is no common sense. Huh? There is no common sense. The lack of common sense. Do you point. think? There, is no, there isn't. There isn't. I agree with you. There. Is, there, is there any common sense? There isn't. It's just completely missing at this the, point. In 1990, the export of white gum hmm. was almost similar to Pakistan. Yes, sir, that, I, I've seen that. In now fact, we are 30. They yeah. are 600. 600 is like okay. post 2008 was a real. Yes. Then why? Why job. we are like this? And we become very happy when we say our reserves have increased by 500 billion dollar. Five million dollars. Million, 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 million dollars. <laughs> today the reserve has increased by two hundred million, yeah. and our stock exchange is doing excellent, and we are doing an ex excellent economic performance. That is why stock exchange is booming like this. Am I right? That's right. That's right. And what FTSE has done today? What FTSE has done today? I don't know. I haven't seen what FTSE did today. They have they downgraded. Huh? They have downgraded. But, but that's your frontier market. Now I think it's still better. <laughs> no, no. What is why? Because the market isn't good enough.
So then Our why capital will market infrastructure isn't good, good enough? Then why price increase? I mean, sir, they're just compensating for all that inflation over the last six years, right? No, what, what I am trying to say uh. that these are not right indicators. That I agree with you. They are not right useless, indicators. Useless, they're, they're not right suspicious. indicators. Yeah. Thank so, Shabha Bhai, coming back to what needs to be done from a pure policy angle. Let's say now, let's just talk about a clean slate here. We know what the problem is: the lack of common sense, so on and so forth. What exactly? Needs to be done. Mother, just have been economic. We are saying is the master planner. You are the central planner. Okay, there shouldn't be any central planner. That's a separate debate. What do you think needs to be done? What should be the first step? First step should be, you should have ten provinces in the country. Okay, that's a fair point. Second, you should have a empowered local government. That's good. Second thing, and you should that empowered government, local government should be should be responsible for health, education, and transport. Okay. And there should be there should be proper property tax in Pakistan. That's right. That's the second. Thing. And the local government should be responsible. And for local that. government should be responsible for the allocation of land for the industrialist. Okay. They should be industry industry should be there. then Pakistan should be divided into two parts economic parts. One is called called, called the Pakistan import and re-export Pakistan and the local Pakistan. Okay. The the Karachi, Pakistan has got only two. Two, Pakistan has got only two commercial cities in the world, in the country. One, one is Faisalabad, Lahore, Gujranwala area, and another is Karachi. Yes. The remaining Pakistan is a rural area. Rural, it, it, right. I call it a pind. Baki Pakistan is a pind, is a village. So the the first the lower part should be called should be should concentrate on the import and re-export industry. Okay. Like right now. And the sec central part, Faisalabad, Lahore, that they should manufacture for the local, for the local production because it is it is a stupidity to pr produce something in Faisalabad and incur the cost of importing from Karachi, taking into Faisalabad, and, and then exporting back. This is a, this is a stupid thing. So Pakistan should be divided into parts where the raw material is available. That should be done in Faisalabad, Lahore, and things like that. And they, where the raw material is not available, uh, that should be done in the that south. should be done in the Karachi. And this should be a clear demarcation in the two parts. It should be North Pakistan economically and the South Pakistan. And the South Pakistan should be and and the capital of the country should be should be shifted accordingly. Economic capital of the country should be shifted. This is the capital of the North Pakistan. This is the capital of the South Pakistan. This is this is this should be the, the uh, this is how this, this first country should be first demarcated. Same mm -hmm. should be the, done for the electricity. Mm -hmm. Same should be done for all the things. Because this centralization of the country has spoiled Pakistan. It's basically moving things as per their comparative advantage. If no, no, south in the south, if you go to the coast, that is a comparative advantage. Yes. So you can export logistics cost should be cheaper. You should ideally have cheaper electricity here, so on and so forth. Industrial activity for export should prosper here. And buy electricity from India if it is cheap. Again, that that that, that, is, op that. that is opening up trade. Simple that. Simple as that. So if if you should have immediate immediate uh, relationship with India for trading, then the second thing is immediately immediately install pipeline from Iraq Iran to India via Pakistan and use that gas as well. Yes, and thirdly, immediately close this issue of Taliban. Either have a friendship with them or kill them. No, no, nothing in between. This this game of good Taliban, bad Taliban is finished. Should be finished. Either you should kill them by bombardment, or you should be friendship with them. This can there cannot be any reconciliation. We are doing for forty years, and we have spoiled everything in this country. So these these these, these open chapters should be closed. These are the open files in Pakistan. Yeah. These all files should be closed. India file should be closed. Kashmir file should be closed. Taliban file should be closed. Karachi file should be closed, and these files all should be closed. That these are now subtle. Hmm. How can a country which is the economic capital of the country is under ranger for last 50, 10 years? It's more than 10, 30 have years. You seen, have you seen any country in the world? Rangers are, are there for civil administration? Maybe 30 years. I don't think okay. 10 years. Then why? Yeah. Why? Why? And you are asking for FDI? What are you, what are you talking about? So uh, coming to FDI, that's a, that's a good point. I always say that you cannot get FDI if the local investor does not want to invest. And you just clearly identified you cannot invest when everything else is so expensive. When the basic infrastructure. Question, let me. Ask my, I have spent my life in this huh. FDI business. Hmm. 
Just give me one industry I would recommend from someone to invest. None. There isn't any. Then what? There isn't any. So why should they invest? Exactly. Where should they invest? Even if I am your friend, hmm. what should I mean? Should I buy a textile mill? Should I buy a sugar mill? What should I invest in? Refinery? Refinery means that you are buying, buying is the government, selling is government, price is fixed. Price is fixed, the low margin business, everyone no, gets No, no, low started. margin business, yeah. they will ask for sovereign guarantee. Yeah. When you ask for sovereign guarantee, it's a bond, not a dollar. It's a bond, it's, a, it's, it's bond, not an investment. What are you talking about? So, are you asking for the bond? Are you ready for giving more bonds to Pakistan? So, I am not gloomy, I am very optimistic. Hmm. These, all these things which I am saying, will happen in another one or two years mm -hmm. and things will be all right. Because we are not used to th do things voluntarily. Hmm. We are we used pushed. to bring, we are pushed to this. So when the push will come, they will do it. They, they, will do, they have to do it. They have no choice. They have no choice. There is no reason for this, this mechanism to continue. Nowadays, the, the time has actually come where the people are not ready to pay electricity bills, actually. Hmm. So, how can this, you can run like this? And the most tragic part is that both the opposition party and the ruling party are not interested in economics. Hmm. I would blame the opposition party equally. Yes. They have not talked anything about economics in the last two months. Why not? When they are member of the assembly, they are they are taking all the purposes for assembly. Why do they talk about the Pakistani people? Is the is the is the leader is the only only concern? So where do we go from here? There are two views, two part of it. One is trailing like this, and second is let it collapse. Without any intervention, either you just keep trailing or you just collapse. Without any intervention, you will collapse. And the intervention being split the country into two parts, the north and the south. Split, no, 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 not split, just like segmented economically, segment, create economic segments, zones. Created economic zone. Yes. And in a, in a reasonable manner, you cannot have a coal-fired power plant, in, imported coal-fired power plant in Saiwal. Hmm. Is it, does it make any sense? The logistics cost is too high for huh? anything to make sense. Yes, Phil, then, then who is making that person accountable? Who is saying that I will bring dust coal here, take it to Saiwal, make a power plant there and then I will relic. The, the, when you have a transmission line. Yes. Okay, then what is the answer? It doesn't make sense. So, then the same person is the Prime Minister. So, what, what, what do you expect from them? Or what do you expect from other side of the people also? That they will think some sincerely. When I, what, why I left this government? Because I used to say that, that they cannot see on the wall. What is written on the wall? Moody has said, let them have only two, two time meal, that is enough for them. He has said it. Has he said it or not? Mm -hmm. So, are, are we still not ashamed? You don't have a guts to show even Moody's installation on your TV. So, what are we talking about? So, why are you wasting my time and your time and everyone's time in doing these five times of program that this will happen and this will happen and this will happen? This is a waste of time. That is right. Am I right? Uh, that is 100% correct. Huh? Will it make any change? It won't actually. Huh? That I Do you believe it will change? No. Then the question is that then what is going to change Pakistan? The change Pakistan will come when you accept that you are wrong. You know, we never, can never be wrong. You are always right. This is going to happen. Okay, go ahead please. Many, sir, that, 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 that's what I'm saying. Again, there are many examples of countries which have gone through worse. Go, go, give me, no, tell me one, give me one country who has got this kind of local debt which Pakistan has got at the moment. Sir, local debt, you mean 
Too many countries have had this kind no, of... No, no, this kind. No, no. This level never reached. So, again, low... Don't, don't answer. Huh. Don't take America, US. No, no, I'm not saying US. I'm not saying Give US. Give me any developing country who had the... Who had 75% of their tax revenue going to local debt. Yeah. And again, there are many in Africa, in no, other countries uh, right uh, now. Give but me one still, name. So, Ghana, Kenya, so Uganda. Ghana, what happened in Ghana? Again, they went to restructuring. Yes. Give me... Kenya is going through restructuring. So a lot the, of these are, so are going the through restructuring. Answer? Restructuring, that's what you're saying. Are you ready? No, we're not. So, why don't you discuss? You accept, you or yourself accept that no country can afford this kind of local debt. Am I right? That is right. You have to do restructuring. But 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 why do we have this local debt? Let's let's just get Simple to the Simple as that. Uh -huh. you, this time you will again buying 8.2 billion. Uh -huh. 8.2 billion you are again borrowing. So local debt will increase next year. Uh -huh. So what is what is the answer that is like this? It's just more deficits. But has anybody, has there, how many TV programs have been done on all things of money on the local debt? Not many because Why people not? don't want to talk about it. That's Why right. not? Yeah. Why not? The, 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 the incompetence lie on your side. That is right. As simple as that. How many programs you have done on local debts? Hmm. You are afraid. <laughs> but don't be afraid. <laughs> I've written enough on I will it. save you. Uh, I, will I've written enough uh, I will it. save you before uh, the GHQ. I can afford to this. <laughs> Point being, ke, I think local debt. Chale, let's talk about local, local debt. Local debt only. I'm not on ah, foreign debt. Hai, local debt only. What do you think needs to be done for that? Cut down. There has to be default. Why? Why not? Why? Because there is no money to pay. But you know now we are saying. No, no, but but, but no, we're no, already, let, me, let me answer you. Uh, now we are saying that they are spending two hundred fifty million for the perquisite. They are paying one hundred million for this. They are. Then I I am I said no. I am not interested. When I am already paying nine thousand seven hundred for the local debt, then I two hundred three million doesn't matter. Hmm. And I am seeing that this is going the percentage of the revenue versus local debt is going to increase, and it will curb all my. So this is what's happening. That's why you have inflation, and all of this is everything. Linked, huh? Everything is linked. That that we agree. But point being, ke, you're already inflating away this debt. Let's say, hypothetically, you just restructure all the local debt. Yes. Take what care. will happen? All of your banks will be underwater. What, insolvent. What, 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 suppose a, a five banks, six, ten banks could do underwater. What is the, what will be? Will Pakistan die? No. Then what is the problem? The problem will be more cash in the economy no, no. because we will stop. Uh, no, no, there'll that, be that, that that is a short, short term measure. But the, you cannot afford this huh. for for saving two three banks or five three bankers who are having a huge profit. You cannot uh, just spoil the country. No, it's about financial there is no, right? there, no, you you give this proposition to any well in anyone in the world. Huh. Anyone, no one will uh, disagree what I, what I am saying. That there needs to be a local debt restructure. Has to be done. No, do if you have another choice, let me let me know. Then controlling fiscal deficit and so on. How can you control the deficit? Just so, please. So, so that is the problem. That's what I am trying to say. You try, please try to understand. I know tax more than you. I know. I know thirteen thousand is a difficult task. If you make it fifteen, huh. even even uh, local debt will not be sorted out. That is a agreed. even eighteen you will sort it out. So it is un, the question is it is now increased to a level where it is not cannot be sorted out. Lot of structuring. Try to understand this. The fiscal balance, this is the theories are to all, all, now we have designed a new term, primary deficit. It's rubbish. <laughs> it's rubbish. That is rubbish. This rubbish, this is rubbish term, primary deficit. Doesn't matter, you still have to pay. Yes. Yeah. Then what is this primary deficit? You know, this, this, please, this is enough, enough, enough is enough. This is enough is enough now. The bank will go, let, let them go, wherever they go. What can I do for this? Can I can I can I put all the countries uh, countries future on this road? Give me one economic sense that this local debt local debt can be settled. One reason how the local debt can be settled. So it doesn't have to settle. No, you just have to grow fast enough. No, Point being, is, no fiscal balance. You need to you you are excusing the tax on the people, and and you are paying to the bankers. I, what I am saying, nine thousand seven hundred was the collection. Hmm. If you make 18,000, even then local debt, then. then what you are saying? Just to save some bankers? Just for this, for this, this, this facade of the financial market? You know what you are saying? The all facade of the financial market? Is it the financial market? So let's game this out. Now let's say the restructuring happens. Then what do you think will happen? Then it will gradually we have to settle it. 
then we have to do both the thing together. We have to reduce the reduce the local debt, reduce the fiscal deficit. So, do you think we can still reduce the fiscal deficit? Yes. If we, we cannot right now, why so will you do it that time? We have to decrease by two thousand there and two thousand here. Then four thousand will be balanced, and the, now the next year deficit will be four thousand. Two thousand saving from here, two thousand from here. But again, will that lead to any change? Because yes. So then, saying when the four thousand will come, then you will have better place to survive. And then we'll do the start start the same thing again. Why? Because Why? Again, we we have to manage, manage the thing. That's what I'm saying. Huh, huh. That, that's what I'm saying. We the interest rate increase was wrong. These are all the all wrong policies have brought it like this. So now we have to start balancing it. So if you feel that this is okay and we can run again, that is your view. I I may not agree with your view. Hmm. Well, that that's fine. So what are your views on the interest rate? I just said it was wrongly increased. Wrongly increased. And what should be the equilibrium rate here? It should be fifteen. Should be fifteen. Why not ten or five? Five. This is what I'm saying. It should be not. I am. I look at the interest rate from from a different point of view. I always look at the interest rate from a point of view where I I would like to invest. Okay. At which date I would like to invest. So that's fair. That's your my perspective. That's your demand. Yeah. That's, that, demand. that's what the rate you demand. That's, that's right. Demand. Uh, But I'm I'm I am on the board of the three or four big big industrial undertaking. Huh. Whenever by by finance manager put put up a proposal. If whenever he increases the interest rate above fifteen, it doesn't make sense to me. So why fifteen? Because this makes sense in the Pakistan market for profitability. Mm -hmm. I I am the board of director of three or four big manufacturing concerns. Mm -hmm. If when I go for a new project, if I take interest rate above fifteen, then it doesn't make sense to me at all. If I keep uh, uh, debt to seventy five and twenty five equity. No, it doesn't make sense. Obviously, no new undertaking can be done at more Simple than fifteen percent. This is a demand. That is right. Simple as that. Now, I, I, I don't need a rocket science to determine ah, that. That's right. That's right. To call call any businessman and say for a new project, what should be your interest rate, which which makes you makes you business viable. That would be on a twelve to fifteen percent. Twelve percent. Okay. Then why we argue on the interest rate? So you think there is no link between inflation and interest no. rate? No. There isn't any. Pakistan, no. Why would you say that? No, give me an evidence. So let's say if interest rates are too low, and wouldn't that lead to foreign? I, I, I have flow? yet to see a person who has borrowed and invested and keep the stock goods because he has got money for keep holding the money by having a lot of interest and for his family consumable goods. So it has no relation with inflation in Pakistan market. This is all wrong. So you don't think it has any effect on your FX position? Hundred percent. Why not? Hundred percent. There's no. The question is, I am not interested in all these positions. FX rate is also not based mm -hmm. on the economic sector of Pakistan. FX rate is based on the demand supply of Pakistan. That is right. Yes, that is right. It's as simple as that. It's it doesn't right. base on interest rate. But isn't it that based on interest no, rate? No. No. Why not? No. Why because, not? Because I mean, let's say this is this is this is all book. No, hey, no, not this, even book. This is all bookish thing. I don't consider it. Pakistan is a two eighty, hmm. and it was it was it was uh, all hawala. This thing that now things are stabilized. It will bring interest rate to twelve percent, and uh, this rubbish should finish off, and everything will be okay. Hmm. So that I agree. Now you can bring it to twelve percent. Why? What has changed? Inflation is lower. <laughs> okay, thank you. This is your theory. Okay, I don't agree. No, no, I go here. You can, you no, can no, disagree. I, we can, I, we, we can no, disagree. No, that is fine. I am saying this is all. This all. This was all a mistake. And people, I will write on this. This why. What was the mistake? So this is all a uh, thing which uh, which we need not to discuss now. Should we we should start from where we stand today? Okay. And we. Stand, this balance sheet cannot run. This balance sheet. That that we all agree. This balance sheet cannot run. Uh, that that we all agree. Simple as that. Huh. And to fix this balance sheet, you have to take a haircut. You are his. I would even take the hit of the foreign foreign currency. I would like to give foreign currency default also. I would like to go for foreign currency default. For what? Why? why? Why I want to go for default? Why? Why? Because I feel your ego is too high. Okay. So you keep your even check. You will go for a foreign currency yes. default. Yes. Because the people in Islamabad and Pindi and there on the mountain side, they are too egoistic. There are ways to handle a person. Mm -hmm. One way is to persuade him. The other is to teach him. Then the second is then tell him that the, the fire is outside the wall, outside the room. Mm -hmm. 
they are not understanding it okay. they are too egoistic so what next the fire is outside the room what do you tell then them then they will they will understand ha huh. then they will either leave the country or they will may be rectified okay and i want them to leave the country okay. i want i want maximum pakistan to leave the country because anyway they have to leave hmm. they leave so nobody is living in pakistan for the reason that he is patriotic hmm. and as, as somebody has said patriotism is the last uh, refuge of a scoundrel yes sir that's true okay so then, then so that's the answer so there is nothing like patriotism in the real world just so let this pakistani leave the country and then we will decide who whosoever lives in pakistan let decide this is the balance sheet this is the pnl and let decide what to do with this but this ego should go away we make take some indian advice by advice from india we can ask someone to be our uh, advisor to fares for some time uh, from india new delhi what is the harm they are living in the same kind of country hmm. they will be they may be better than uh, these arabs that, that that makes sense so essentially what you're saying is we restructure our debt we just restructure the country restructure the country but you're saying we start with the restructure the debt first ji we restructure the debt no, first do do everything together do everything together together yes but don't you think that will be very high social cost huh? that will there's no social cost very high the social cost already too high yeah it's what is social cost what social cost hmm. to social cost to whom what are the social cost means there is only two class in pakistan now hmm. i was i was on the i was yeah, last night i was coming at 11 o'clock on the 26th street there were at least 500 cars outside the petrol pump they have so much money they were filling their their tanks let petrol be closed and they should see, see what is the problem in this country everybody has so much money to pour to fill the petrol pump they are not bothered about money so in pakistan they have, there are some people who have got excess money the all the restaurants that were there there on the on the khabane sir you i know live very close to the restaurants they are all restaurants are closed they have a two hours booking but that's a very uh, small no, part no, 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 they are no they are not a small that's a very they are not a small they are the only relevant people they are the people who talk about pakistan against pakistan every night on the tv show hmm. the common pakistanis do not have a that opportunity of talk about pakistan they are they are suffering on the on these roads and they so do, you don't have any access to them the real pakistan you don't have any access to real pakistan so you do, you see both the sides from those people who are sitting on this have and sell restaurants so let them leave the country i live next lane to that 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 area i have never been to that area in my life never been in my life all these restaurants in seven sir are just one lane away, away from my house they're not even good so i think doing the right thing here no no what i am trying to say the all the discuss, dishes are plus 6000 per per dish that's right and the, there are two hours waiting hmm. have you seen the restaurants you go to the restaurant in the night and not in karachi lahore you go to amam alam road in lahore and look at the kind of the jewelry being sold so why is it pakistanis are worried on jewelry how can we tax that how can jewelry be taxed where from where you get the gold for jewelry smuggled smuggled then ask him who is smuggling see my interview on shahzeb khan zada on smuggling then why are you saying what you are saying is the rani petrol not available it is available everywhere then the question is the question is all the jewelries jewelries why how why should jewelries be taxed when you cannot stop the uh, you know there is always a way to it hmm. in india there are same problem of smuggling of the gold hmm. they allowed import why don't you allow import they open import yeah why don't you allow import of gold why don't you allow import of gold you are a country like this yes hey is it not not that's true that's true we legend out of people we legend yes <laughs> we can do smugglers make legend out of smugglers yes the, the land mafia the smugglers these black mafia they are all they are they are the legends of pakistan a person who just the cricket team who doesn't play when a match they are on the 50 television uh, ads why you have, why you think the, the pakistani team has lost the uh, uh, t20 because 90% of the people are, are on the tv ads rather than playing the ground hmm. 
If I would have been the chief chairman of the PCB, I would have banned all the players on, the, on, the, on this TV ad. What do they think about themselves? They have only played one inning and they become celebratory in this country. So, this country is not an economic problem. This country is suffering a social problem. So, we have to fix the social problem first before okay. we can fix the economic problem. Yes. Then what is happening? So, why we are talking about things that this will happen, the IMF will come and this will go and this will go. Aurangzeb Sa will do this, Shabaz Sharif Sa will do this, Imran Khan will come. These are all useless things. Justice Fazi Sa will do this thing. This country at the moment is at the verge of the biggest economic catastrophe for the world because it has the largest number of uneducated youth in the world. In the world, yes, that's right. So, effectively, again, it's just running out of time. So, whole point being this is a social problem. We've got a large number of uneducated youth and before you can fix an economic problem, you need to fix Social it. problem, yes. This is a social problem. That is what social needs problem. to be fixed. Thank you. Thank you, Chabarabai. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Amazing it was. Thank you, sir. Thank you.